Cruise ship cabins aren't all made equal and they definitely aren't one size fits all, but these are some of the worst cabins that cruisers almost always regret. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're just happy to be on a cruise ship and you don't care where your cabin is, well, then you may wanna skip this video. However, if you are sensitive to noise, to motion, or to smells, yes smells, then there are some cabin locations, some cabin information that you're definitely going to want to know. You're gonna to wanna to know which cabins maybe you should avoid. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the 10, I think it might be 10 plus, but about 10 different cabins and cabin locations. Some of them may surprise you. Before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, any cabins that are directly below the gym or the fitness center. Yes, people have said that they've actually heard the treadmill well at all hours of the day. But the worst part was hearing the treadmill at 7 a.m. or hearing the weights bang on the floor or hearing those bicycles that are spinning basically all of those gym sounds and now some cruise ships are definitely better than others in terms of the soundproofing but typically right under the gym well that is a hard place to be that is definitely a cabin location to avoid number two any cabins that are over or under the theater or even any lounges any discos those are all going to be areas that the noise level is going to be high the foot traffic is going to be high. And especially when we are talking about any discos or nightclubs, those sounds can go well into the night. Now, luckily these type of cabins are very easy to spot. You just have to take a look at the deck plan and it is going to be pretty obvious. However, some of the cabins that I'm going to be mentioning in this video are lesser known and really ones that you need to watch out for. Number three, this is not an obvious one. And to be honest, not one I would have ever really considered. It is forward facing suites or forward facing even balcony cabins. And basically these are the balcony cabins or suites that are in the very forward of the cruise ship. Now I had a member of my community who shared this with me and shared the experience. So I am sharing it with you. And basically this is a suite on a cruise ship where the suite can be absolutely gorgeous. So it can be a living room. It can be a dining room. It can be two bedrooms, but the forward facing balcony can be unusable on sea days. So basically what happened is on sea days, there was so much wind that that balcony became unusable. The deck chairs needed to be stacked up. The spa couldn't be used. The tables needed to be turned over. And basically that balcony was really only usable on the port days. So that can be disappointing when you spend so much money on a suite, watch that for any forward facing balcony cabins. Now, speaking of forward facing cabins or forward cabins in general, there are some negatives to being in the far forward of the cruise ship. The biggest negative is probably the motion. So if you are sensitive to motion in any way, then you really wanna try to avoid those very far forward cabins. Now, if you have a high up forward cabin, then not only are you in the forward, so you have that movement that you have in the forward, but you also have the wind that can affect the motion of the cruise ship. And if you are at the bottom of the cruise ship, the negative of that is during rough seas, you might also hear those sounds of the waves and the water and hear even a little bit of banging. That is a sound you sometimes hear on cruise ships in the rougher seas. So that probably is an area, if you have any sensitivity to motion at all, stay away from forward cabins. Now, speaking of noise, there are some sort of slightly noisy areas that are a little bit less obvious, maybe a little bit lesser talked about, but if you are sensitive to sound or if you're maybe a light sleeper, these are some cruise ship cabin locations that you're going to wanna to kind of stay away from. So one of those areas is the area near the ship's anchor. Now, in particular, in the early morning time when you are docking in a cruise port, that is when you would hear that ship's anchor. You'll also hear like the sound of the pop-out door where the 
crew will stand outside. They may be yelling back and forth to like the tugboat and to the people that are on the port. So that is just generally going to be a little bit noisy and that can be as early as like 5 or 6 a.m. And another area to avoid is any of the cabins that are above or below or even at the side of the gangway. As you can imagine, not only are you going to hear sounds in the early morning and as they're pulling up the gangway, but you could hear sounds like all day. Now changing gears just a little bit, let's talk about smells on cruise ships. Now this is another one that I really wouldn't have thought about, but it was mentioned and I thought it was worth mentioning. It's any cabins that are basically under or near the galley that you may actually smell those food smells. Now, if that doesn't bother you, then don't worry about that at all. But some people said that they actually smelled like bacon or onions. And well, that might be something that's a little bit unpleasant. So you might wanna stay away from any of those cabins that are near the galley. Now, if you're sensitive to the smell of smoke, these are some cabins or maybe cabin locations that you might want to avoid. So just to let you know, on a cruise ship, people can't smoke everywhere on the cruise ship. Generally, there are some smoking areas. The smoking areas are going to include on the promenade deck, there's going to be a specific area on the promenade deck that is a smoking area. You're also going to have smoking that's allowed. Usually on the Lido deck, there might be a smoking section. I think it might be on the starboard side, but I don't know if it's always on the starboard side. If you do know, is the smoking area always on the starboard side? Please let me know down in the comments below. And sometimes you'll have a smoking area at the aft pool as well. So you'll have kind of a few smoking areas on the outside of the cruise ship. And you're also going to have a smoking area. Oftentimes it is like in the ship's casino, not all the time but sometimes the ship's casino can be very smoky so you'll want to stay away from the ship's casino so stay away from any of the cabins that are near there that could be a little bit noisy as well so it's another good reason but also in terms of where your cabin is located once you know where the smoking area is even outside you can avoid those balcony cabins that might be sort of directly above or near the smoking area. Now, most of the time on sea days, it really shouldn't bother you, but on those days in port, it is possible that with the ship sort of staying in one place, you can smell the smoke a little bit more than usual. Now, one area that I think is probably the worst place to have your cabin is directly under the pool. Now, you could have your balcony cabins right under the pool, and you probably are going to hear noise in the early morning. So as early as five or 6 a.m., probably closer to 5 a.m., the crew is going to be moving those deck chairs. They're going to be washing the deck. You're going to definitely hear those sounds. You might even hear people running on the jogging track. Throughout the day, you can hear those, you know, nice pool sounds, but you just may not want to hear them when you're out on your balcony reading a book. At night, you might hear like movies that are playing on a big screen or sports games. So that is definitely a deck to avoid. Now, if you're in an interior cabin, you may actually hear the sloshing of the pool. So in rougher seas, the water in the pool is going to move and it is going to make a sloshing sound. People that have been directly under the pool deck have reported hearing that sound. Now switching gears to a type of cabin to avoid. Well, this one I think probably if you're not traveling with other people in the cabin next door to you, this is definitely a cabin that you want to avoid. It's basically any connecting rooms. Just like in a hotel, when you have a connecting room, that door is thinner than the regular door to the hallway. That is probably, people have some real horror stories about the sounds that they've heard from next door when they're in any type of cabin. So always avoid those connecting doors. You can see that when you look at the deck plan, there's often going to be like a little star or a little square or something. You could tell that there is a connecting cabin definitely avoid these. Now, since we talked about forward cabins before, we should really talk about aft cabins or cabins that are at the back of the cruise ship. Now, of course, you have those aft balcony cabins, and those are the cabins that are at the very back of the cruise ship, so at the stern, and those would be the cabins that are actually like overlooking the wake of the ship. Now, a lot of people love these cabins. Other people don't like them so much for a variety of reasons. I actually have a video all about those type of cabins. We stayed in one, so I'm gonna give you my honest pros and cons. I'm gonna leave that video right at the end of this one. However, in terms of just the location, being in the aft, there are kind of some pros. Some of the pros are that the further you are from the elevator 
or from the main center of the cruise ship, you're going to actually have a quieter location. There's going to be less foot traffic. So that is definitely a pro of that area. Now, if you are in those cabins or in that area, especially if you are lower down, some people report hearing the sound of the engine, the rumbly sort of sound. So that can definitely be a negative. Please let me know if you like being in the aft area of the cruise ship. I know most people, if you have a choice, we would try to go midship, but I actually do enjoy the aft area Area. oftentimes that is the area where I kind of tend to hang out a little bit so that stairway is really practical for me but please let me know your opinions in the comments below this video now I have three more cabins that you might regret booking and I saved the last one for the cabin that I actually regretted booking so I will I will tell you and I will show you why but another cabin that people say oh gosh you got to watch this one is any cabins that are near the crew access area. So you're gonna have these crew access doors on the different decks. Now, some people say that you might wanna avoid any of the cabins that are nearby any of those storage closets. In our experience, the crew are usually pretty respectful and those really haven't been much of an issue. However, there are some crew doors in particular areas that people that are sensitive to sound have said they definitely have regretted booking. So basically these are any of the crew doors going to the bridge. Some people say that they hear that door kind of opening and closing. They hear that sound. They don't like to hear that sound. And the other one is any of the crew doors that are going to the leisure areas for the crew members. So that is an area also that you want to kind of be careful of. Now you might be wondering how do you find out about all of these things. Sometimes what you can do is actually join a Facebook group for that cruise line and this way those are things that are going to be talked about. Now another cabin location that can be a little bit noisy and maybe a little bit undesirable is any cabin that is too close to the elevators. Now the elevators typically are an area that people are going to be waiting for the elevators, getting off the elevators, having conversations. Maybe kids might be running up and down the stairway that is near the elevator. So if you can try to stay at least a few doors away from the elevator. So what cabin did I most regret booking? Well, it was an obstructed balcony cabin. Now generally I don't like obstructed cabins. However, I wouldn't say to never book them if the price is right. It definitely beats a lower category cabin. However, on some cruise ships, you're going to have an ocean view that's obstructed, which basically means you're going to have a window and you may have a lifeboat that is going to block your view. I personally would much rather be in an inside cabin than see an orange lifeboat. I just don't really like the color orange. Maybe that's why, but I would rather have like a mirror above my bed or a picture or something than have a window with a lifeboat. Maybe it's just me, but the cabin that I did have that was obstructed was I had a balcony cabin that was obstructed on the Regal Princess. Now we loved having the outdoor space that was good but our particular balcony was really quite obstructed our neighbors to the left hardly had an obstruction at all so that definitely would have been a little bit of a better one so if you are thinking about any obstructed balcony cabins just maybe take a look try even googling uh, that specific balcony cabin because sometimes you could find the image and you could see maybe it's not that obstructed at all now i'd love to hear from you please let me know if you've ever booked any cabin that you kind of regretted or that you just wouldn't book again, please let me know down in the comments below. And I am gonna leave that video right after this one all about aft balcony cabins, the pros and the cons. If you've been thinking about getting a cabin like this, this is definitely a must watch. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.